There's a new Asian trailer for Godzilla coming out soon, which suggests some new twists. Let's take a look. Whatever it is, that's in there. Whatever it is they're guarding so carefully, it's real. God. Let them fight! Do what Ken Watanabe says! Right? I got, I got goosebumps. I, I am such a huge fan of Godzilla, and this is so exciting. So people have been speculating as to who this winged creature is. Is it Mothra? No, it isn't. Is it Muto? <laughs> is it Rodan? Who is it? And will they fight? They say something can kill it. Godzilla is something. I think it's Rodan. I'm going to go with Rodan. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but there, but there is also another creature in there. I think there's more than one because there was a leg that comes down that's clearly not Godzilla's leg. Mm -hmm. And I don't recognize that one. Let's just, just, yeah. I don't, to I don't the know internet. That, <laughs> that must be a new monster. It's got to be a new monster. So that's really cool. So do yeah. you think it's going to be this all-out kaiju battle royale? Uh, it would be great if it was like Final Wars mm -hmm. or something in that genre because they brought back all these different monsters, just even little cameos of some of the classic monsters would be great. Yeah. It'd be a lot of fun. But then, you know, they might also want to leave it open to sequels. Now, you know? what makes you think that's Rodan? And what do you think that means? Well, R Rodan's a pterodactyl. Mm -hmm. So that looks very, very much like a pterodactyl to me. The Those, flying. They were big leathery looking wings. They yeah. weren't like moth wings or bug wings or <laughs> leather anything. Leather moth, no. No right. leather moths. No, no leather moths. No, it just it just looked like a pterodactyl. So the original the original Rodan I think was a pterodactyl. So. Mm -hmm. So these this, we can't control nature at all, and we're just gonna ha let nature duke it out, ah? Yeah, and it's all our fault apparently. In in the Godzilla world, it's uh, nuclear energy and nuclear bombs and mm -hmm. nuclear technology that brought about the monsters. So and you could they they actually had a great in one of the previous trailers they had a whole thing where the they were talking about the nuclear uh, bomb tests were actually trying to get rid of Godzilla and it was a big cover-up, oh. which I thought was brilliant. All the bomb tests in the Pacific were actually trying you, to get rid like of Godzilla. Do you like these changes from the, the original established lore? I, yeah, I mean, it's funny. If you look at the original established lore, it's all over the map. Godzilla is one of those genres. You can kind of do anything you want with it. I think that the only thing you can't do is make Godzilla look like another monster. Mm -hmm. Not naming any names, but... <laughs> Just saying. A lot of people were saying they think <laughs> Godzilla looks super fat now. A lot of specifically Asian audiences. Yeah, because Godzilla over the years, if you watch the more recent movies, he's been getting more and more slender, almost cat-like, and very pointed snout. And, and I came to a head in the Matthew Broderick movie where he was like a giant raptor, and they backed off from that. Right. Because Raptors it looks so guys. not well, like that one was That one was kind of its own monster. In, in, in Japan, I've seen that one um, labeled Notzilla. Not that's and that's, an, that's, that's, a, that's an official name in some product, like the mm -hmm. little figures and stuff. There's all the Godzilla 1964, and not, not that I'm into those things. I mean, there's like, you know. <laughs> there's like over 25 different Godzilla movies now, right? There's, yeah, there's you know, a lot. Rebooted know three or four many. times. And yeah, I keep having to rebuy them because I had them all on VHS and then now DVD and then Blu-ray, of What is your opinion on that as a visual effects wizard? Uh, this movie? Or, sure. or just Godzilla in general? Answer all of it. Oh, boy, you know, there's so much to cover. The original Godzilla movies were great, and I think Godzilla uh, gained a following because it was good creature design. He had the eyes, he was a guy in a suit, mm -hmm. and, and it, you could relate to him at a certain level. So he was always this bad guy that you kind of related to that was kind of a hero, too. And that's where he skates a very interesting line where I think a lot of monsters don't. They're very either clearly uh, evil or, or good, mm -hmm. you know, so. And then, you know, it's always fun to watch the miniatures get destroyed, you know, and everyone can <laughs> picture themselves in that monster suit stomping on these cities, so that part of it's great. But it's also fun to see what they're going to do with uh, Godzilla using all the latest technology in visual effects in this mm -hmm. movie. It's, it's going to be exciting because we've never seen it before. You know, there was, there was the Matthew Broderick Godzilla, but that monster departed so much from the Godzilla design that we all know and love. You know, he had the beady black eyes and 
things that didn't allow you to bond with it as a character, I think. Mm -hmm. You know, so this, this I think, is going to be a lot more fun. What do you think of the Asia trailer and the new Godzilla movie coming out soon? What do you make of it all? Uh, does it follow the lore or does it not? And is that good or bad? Let us know what you think below in the comments and please be sure to subscribe.